Hello YouTube, Zap Samurai back at you with another Transformers review. Surprise, surprise. And this time I'm going to be doing the Transformers Universe Deluxe Class Hound with Ravage. Um, <clears throat> first off, um, I've been getting a lot of questions on this blog that I go on almost every day. Um, post a lot of pictures on there showing all the transformers and stuff that I've accumulated and people ask me if Ravage was actually thrown in there as a two-pack and no he wasn't he was actually just a free bonus which is actually kind of a sigh of relief considering how tiny he is um, but uh, cooperate please but um, there they are in vehicle mode. <clears throat> and a lot of people also ask me why the hell he's clipped onto the back of Hound like that. Um, I didn't know until just recently somebody on that blog mentioned to me that it related back to an old G1 episode where Hound actually managed to capture Ravage and um, the kid also said that that's exactly how he put him on there too. He didn't like holster him down or anything like he just kind of set him up there and expected him to stay there but um, <clears throat> in vehicle mode I'm not entirely impressed with either of them one thing I really don't like about Ravage is his cassette mode is ridiculously I don't, it just doesn't really look like a cassette um, <clears throat> the only thing that makes it look remotely close to the cassette is the two holes but that's about it so, as far as his transformation goes, it's, you know, it's ravaged, so it's extremely easy. Uh, his tail's located in this upper right corner. You just want to grab that and flip it up, so it kind of looks like a, I don't know, like an internet receiver or something, whatever. Come back here and grab his back legs and flip those up. And then grab his head maybe sorry mine's it's really in there ah. anyway let's see if I can't get him the fuck out of there there we go his head comes out bring down his paws here or his legs whatever you want to call them and there he is in his panther mode and I'm not entirely impressed with this either <clears throat> one thing I do really like about it is he's got a lot of bulk to him um, I remember the G1 Ravage certainly did not have a whole lot of bulk to him he just fell like right over just <clears throat> but uh, this one's not too bad He's got a real nice Decepticon logo right there between his shoulders. One thing I really don't care about on this guy is... Look at that head. Um, it looks like they gave him Laser Beak's head for crying out loud. That's kind of sad. But other than that, I like him. Other than the fact you know that head bothers me and the fact that he really doesn't look like a tape... That that's kind of sucks, but there's that. Now we move on to Hound, and Hound is pretty nice. One thing I don't really like about him is he looks more like a modern Jeep than an old military Jeep to me. Um, but I like how everything stows away in there really nicely. Uh, if you look flush with the bottom it really doesn't stick out too much. I really like that. The wheels are extremely wobbly. Uh, the back one's not not quite as much but these front ones just ridiculous. But not not too bad. And he's got his um, hologram projector there. So that's, that's kinda nice. 
And his transformation, a lot of people think it's ridiculously hard, and it's totally not. It's extremely easy. You begin by pushing the seats down, those are later going to become his thighs. And you just give him a little tug, and push the back of the chairs in. And you take this back portion here, and you just bend that straight down to create his feet. Is just pull apart like that. Um, <clears throat> and you come over here and you want to take his tires and they will kind of come out like that. And then that way you can get in there and make his arms swivel out. Maybe. There we go. Uh, they're one. Okay. Then this little guy will fold up to create his waist. Just pull out his fist real quick. Okay, now you want to make sure these tires are out of the way, because then you just take this part and it unclips and creates his chest. His head's just tucked away in there. And then, what I like to do with the tires <clears throat> is I like to just, uh, well, first I like to get his waist in the proper position. There we go. And then his tires, I just clip those right back here behind his shoulders. And there you have Hound. And in robot mode, I'm actually pretty impressed. His eyes, you can see they're, you know, they, they have that little translucent look to them. That's kind of cool. Uh, I love the Autobot symbol right there. Way badass. Um, he looks, if he were, again, if he just was like the right kind of Jeep, he would look just like his old G1 self. But, um, they didn't do too bad of a job. From the back, he looks really good. Um, one thing I don't really care too much about him, or what I don't really care... Yeah, I don't know. One thing I don't really like about him in robot mode is his waist looks extremely tiny from just how it is. Like, his body looks way too, way too huge compared to his skinny ass legs, but, I don't know, it's not anything too ridiculous. Um, let's set the camera down here for a second, and his hologram projector, I watched another review recently, um, there was a guy having problems putting his hologram projector into his hand, he said it wouldn't fit but I think that's just a problem with his version because I mean the hologram projector in mine fits completely fine clips right into his hand there's no problem at all but there he is with Ravage and I don't know I guess they kinda make a cute couple <laughs> but that's about all I have to say for these guys so um, this is Zep Samurai signing off, and I'll post some more as soon as I can.